Welcome back to the VZU Workshop. I'm James and today in our workshop we've got this Range Rover SVR that's in for a Typhon upgrade. But before we get into any of the upgrades themselves, we've got to strap it down and find out how much horsepower and how much torque this is currently running. So on its first run, we can see this Range Rover is running 579 brake horsepower and 714 newton meters of torque, but we can do better. So it's time to hand it over to our technical team. Whilst the SVR is here, it's also undergoing a health check to make sure it's in full working order. Now that the health check's complete, it's time for our workshop team to start on the modifications, replacing the upper pulley and installing that new Quicksilver exhaust system. To make sure we're getting the absolute most out of this Range Rover, it's on our dyno for some live tuning to make sure we can get every last drop of performance out of it. So the upper pulley's been installed and the new map's been written to the ECU. It's time to get that Quicksilver exhaust fitted, but first let's find out what the stock exhaust sounds like. Quicksilver's sound architect system contains two separate gas paths and an electronic flap valve system which decides the path taken, loud or quiet. The valve is controlled with Quicksilver's app on your phone so you can choose which soundtrack you want for your car and tailor it to the perfect moment for your driving. So now the Quicksilver exhaust has been fitted, it's time to give this its final dyno run. That's the dyno run all done with. Now it's time to test the exhaust. Well, that was the valves closed, but what about with the valves open? I 
think you'll agree that sounds truly monstrous. And we ran it on the dyno. It's now running 671 brake horsepower and 917 newton meters of torque. Well, I could just step away. And if you're looking to get your car upgraded, then give us a call on 01789 77444. Email info at vizu.com.